poisons wife and kids with abortion pills. So in Houston, Texas, there was a man, an attorney who decided um, he didn't want his wife pregnant anymore. And since Roe v. Wade has been overturned, note this, if she had taken the abortion pills, she would be charged with murder and imprisoned for life. Uh huh. But he, because he's a man, was able to pour it in her drink. Now, when I first heard this, I thought, did she ask him to do it since abortion is illegal? I mean, I didn't know what to think when I first heard this. I was like, maybe he was helping her. I don't, I don't know. No, he was not helping her. He was spiking her drinks for years, okay, with these abortion pills. And he caused her to have a miscarriage after um, she had been like deathly ill. And then he would be like, oh, I'm going to take care of you. I mean, he would bring her water. He would bring her things. That she'd be like, why does this water look cloudy? And he would say, well, you know, we're having problems with the pipes. I'll call a plumber or whatever it is. And she would drink it and then she would get violently ill. Well, she was smart. Um, she started to collect samples of what he was feeding her and he would even pass her drinks in restaurants and stuff. She would collect samples and she busted him eventually. Um, he did cause for her pregnancy to miscarry, which is sad. Um, her previous pregnancy from just about a year before that um, actually caused for her to almost miscarry several times, but she had the baby and the baby has a ton of disabilities because of this drug. So he's drugging her, he's drugging her kids because he didn't want to deal with them anymore. Instead of just leaving and being a man about it, this is what he did. And he got 180 days in prison. And if she had done it, she would have gotten life. Do you love it? What's the bigger lesson there? Well, exposure. Exposure to the obscene injustice uh, between men and women especially here in America. And if we are the leaders of the rest of the world, um, you know, this should get some good exposure. So hopefully she fights a really good fight on this. It's also going to bring about a lot of um, change and argument in the upcoming probably two to three years as I see it in regards to Roe v. Wade being overturned. We got the elections coming up. So there's a lot of like political stuff behind this and change that, you know, that can happen um, from from that, uh, just being the discrepancy here. How come she can't take that pill and he can give it to her and he's not charged with murder at all, okay, at all, but she would be.